this video, I'll give you a review of the Silver Spring Scooter Carrier. It has some issues that we couldn't tell just by looking online. We just got a Silver Spring Scooter Rack, which is a carrier for the back of the car. I'll show you as we install it. This is aluminum, but it's still very sturdy. The ramp is tucked away and it does slide out very smoothly. Here are the two aluminum hinges. And this is the main frame for the carrier. Here is everything uncrated from the two boxes it arrived in. Turn this upside down to bolt on the hinges. Put the center column in place. Install these roller screws and the set pin. If it won't push in all the way, it's probably because you need to move this slider bar out of the way. Snug it up. Put the other two on the other side the same way. And the fourth one. Put the safety gates on both ends using this plain pin. Tighten it in place. There's a safety gate for the front and the back. Now we'll need to turn it over to assemble the rest and it is pretty heavy. We'll lower it onto some blocks. This plate needs lifted. We're just putting a wedge under it temporarily. Remove this lower hardware. Put on the tilt handle and replace that hardware. Move this slider over until it's completely aligned with this peg. Just tap it over. This bolt is going into this hole, but it's going to be spring tensioned and that is a trick to get on. So the spring goes on first, then the washer and then you'll have to push until you catch the threads in there. Definitely have to press on this to get it in that hole. Tighten this with a 13 millimeter wrench and this gets threaded a half inch back. It's time to put the cover plate on, but before we do, these two bolts go in and the jam nuts need to be started on the back first. These will be tightened up once everything's in place. Spin the bolt in place. Use the Allen wrench to tighten it until it's snug. Now tighten these jam nuts. 14 millimeter wrench, snug up the jam nuts. And the one on this other side. Spin the folding handle onto the lower bolt. Spin it up until it hits the lock nut. This handle does need to be parallel with the bottom of this plate, and so this jam nut on the inside may need tightened or loosened to allow that to happen. Now that the handle is parallel, we can snug up the nut. Now everything is snugged up in the proper orientation. Install the spring handles onto the safety gate. Remove the bottom nut, lower the gate, and install it on this side. The wrench on both sides, snug it up. When you pull the spring handle back, the bolt should be flush with the nut. So there's enough clearance when you lift it. The pins will snap in place, but you may have to wiggle this gate a little. We'll install these handles on the other side. The hitch riser can be facing up or in the down position, depending on the height you need off the ground and your type of vehicle. We're mounting ours this way. Install the washer and the nut onto the bolts. Tighten everything up. This is a leveler bolt, so we're gonna put it on after the carrier has been attached to the back of the car. I want two people to put this into place. And to lift it to get the pin in. A little tricky getting that pin in there. You have to have the platform lifted as high as possible in order to have any hope of getting this pin in there. And the cotter pin. See, it's not level, so now we'll install this leveling bolt. Spin this bolt until the platform is level. Now that the platform is level, we'll tighten up this lock nut. Tighten it up. Now that everything is leveled, this is the anti-tilt bracket, and this will need installed before we actually travel anywhere. The anti-tilt bracket 
and this adds extra strength and support right where the carrier inserts into the hitch. Remove the carrier and install this. Tighten all four bolts by hand until they're snug. Snug them each up with a wrench. Now we'll move the car so we can load the mobility scooter. In order to get this tilt lever to work, we had to put grease on all these mechanisms around here. Without the grease, we could barely move this. If these bolts have been tightened too much, you will not be able to tilt this bed downward because the bolt actually might dig into the side frame. So be sure that when you're tightening these bolts, you're not going beyond the back plate. So we're backing these bolts out so they don't tighten against the tilt bed. We ended up adding a couple washers behind this bolt because the back of the bolt, when we tightened it, was digging into the tilt bed and we couldn't tilt it down. Tighten these bolts only as tight as what keeps this from rattling and does not dig into the bed. We can tighten the lock nuts. This handle should pull out to allow you to lift the entire platform up out of the way, but if it's not pulling out, I'll show you why. If this leveling bolt has been tightened too tightly, it will dig into the bottom of this bar, which is actually supposed to move backward in order to allow the platform to hinge up. how this works now. You can bring the ramp down on either side of the platform. We want to lower this side, so we'll move this lever in the direction that we're lowering. Now extend the platform lower it. Bring the scooter up. We will lock it. Slide the ramp back in and replace the gate, but we can't because our mobility scooter is a little bit too big. We were able to get the gate closed by lifting the entire unit up past the wheelie bars, but it did make it more difficult. All the specs for this trailer matched this scooter, but now that we have it on here, I do not feel comfortable with this going on the road.